you might not even know that um, even the small space that we are living in our rooms, we have washrooms, WCs, and we still force and get spaces, especially ladies, to have our utensils packed for food. And more than 50, 50 out of 72 people sample wanted kitchens. 52 out of the 72 wanted toilets, and the same for bath. And then 62 wanted bedrooms. And looking at living areas, storeroom, sport and shop, very few wanted them. So based on these ideas, we came up with our concepts. And our concepts were based on several considerations. The first was how do these people move into settle? Some will find that a, 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 a large area where there is nothing. I'll move in there. I have a place to sleep. I call my friend. This is a place. There's no one that they can build something. My friends will also come with other friends. And then we try and get materials that we lay our hands on, which is very cheap. And then we start building. So we come up with one single room. We stay there and then we look at options where we can get something to survive on. And in the case of Sony in the world, the market is where they survive. They learn and they get money to feed themselves. And at the end, in the future, this is what happens. A place full of houses that are on land. A place on the land that is on the land. And one of the other things is their place is so self-organized that it's informal. And when you look at it from when you have an area of view from Google, you see that yeah, this is very bad. And one other thing is the people like to be by their friends. So the first person who come in, look at the small boat there, is me and my two friends. And then my other friend will come, which is the fourth one, come and stay with me for some time. After some time, he makes money out of the commercial activity. He also wants to build. He won't go out and go and stay somewhere. He wants to build his house by me. And then it's a on. And then you look at the classes. It, it's representing people with friends who are born out. And look at what is up for so many people around the future. By 2030, the US, the UN habitat statistics, you are going to have an overcrowded place where people do not have a place to lay their head. And also, yeah, like that, the life that a place to sleep and a place to work. So I go to work in the morning, come back in the evening, and then sleep, and then the next day I go. And they are setting a small pedestrian prioritized with no consideration for vehicles and then no consideration at all for the physical challenge. And like it was something which was very bad. Both of them went out of those together, or very small, which allowed me little light and air. And their structure was going to be deeper because that was what was very really available for them to use. And that was what they had a skilled labor to work with. And their organization also comes in. In a building where they have a single unit and then they come with several classes of courtyard because one thing that they liked was communal living. So what based on these parameters, my team and I upon several considerations. Okay, then let after this research, we realize that there are scenarios in the slum that are very interesting. And we could adopt and come up with a design that would suit the lifestyle of the people so that they can feel comfortable despite the new environment that they find themselves in. So based on their simple three by three building game, we adopted that and then we came up with a room where for people to stay based on our hostel systems with improved facilities for them. And then we organize the three by three into a single unit block, which is the next one, where you can have one or more friends, two or more friends living in one building, and then still relating them to other friends who may come. And one thing that is very was very critical is to enhance enhance maximum lighting and ventilation. So out of the three by three, we formed a queue, and then we started it to enhance ventilation, enhance shade as well as ventilation. And another thing was to look at an organization, which is the broader community. And one thing that we learned from the chess team was that every box was close to each other, which is proximity. And looking at that, then we can let the black areas stand out and the white areas also stand alone. Meaning we are free more space and then enhancing ventilation and allowing more circulation spaces. And the other thing was to look at how we can adopt local materials in their building so that it can be something that we get the materials from there and 
then we use our own labor to do. And also come up with a system of recycling the water and then we, we and reusing it in the facility. And also looking at ways of recycling waste, such as plastic bottles and rubbers which are in the community. But one interesting thing that helped in our sustainability was a system that we were going to adopt for our design. And realize that if you want to enhance adequate uh, cooling in the environment, because the existing place has so much buildings, less vegetation, then it means you have to adopt a system where we can even plant on the ground as well as on the walks. So we adopted a system which a team that I met in Sao Paulo developed for an urban agriculture, where you have a single unit and then the whole system is self irrigated So we just pour a time in and after some number of days go back and refill for the system to create itself. So based on that we came up with a simple concept of organizing the organizing the building um, in several classes and then try and adopting the issue, adopting the issue to come up with um, a collective housing unit where they can have a common space and as well enhance security and privacy. So this is what happened. We came up with a single unit which consists of four of two rooms for four people living in a space, one room for which is in the violet for a person, two people who live in a space, and then a single room which is made up of a living area and then a bedroom for a family. And then they all share a common washroom and then a bath. And one thing about one thing that's so interesting is that people are so much in communion that they tend to share everything. You can have like thousands of I mean, that means a thousand people using one washroom. And I'm wondering if all of us here were to put in this room and us using one washroom, what's going to happen here? And the other thing is to come up with a system where all the waste water in the community will be collected at the red zone and then be filtered by the plant, send the plants around into a reservoir and then be and return into the washroom producing system for flashing of their toilet, of their WC, sorry. And again, and the last thing was to translate the whole thing into an, a, a, a setting where you can have more communal buildings. <coughs> so we trusted them in two different organizations. One with our normal, uh, with our simple contract system where we have houses forming a common space and then the other, where you have several houses with multiple courtyards for use. And the system of irrigation of the wall is such that once we collect and recycle the water into our tank, the water will be fed into a system which is on the extruded um, facade. And then it will water the, facade, um, water the green areas by itself. The blue line is the supply zone. When you have the water running through the supply, being sucked onto the wall and then discharged on the red zone, after which the waste will be taken back into the recycling unit for um, as the cycle will continue from the recycling unit. So the other thing was to come up with an interior system where we use local materials. So we used bamboo to come up with uh, beds as well as living areas for the community. And this is another for the four people who are living in the room. So this is what we came up with at the end for the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. So that at the end you have an environment where it will be a burden of the government thinking about what to do with these people or how to make life very comfortable for them. But learning from the system they need in, you can come up with a concept where the people can, where the government can adopt and come up with a community that is very livable and serve as an asset rather than a burden for us all. Thank you.